Hello my dear students, once again welcome to your online class. Today we will be studying a chapter of a chemistry textbook and the chapter is the language of chemistry. Okay, so in this chapter we will be learning about the chemical reaction, the necessary condition for the chemical reaction, the characteristics of the chemical reaction, what is a chemical equation, writing a chemical equation, balancing a chemical equation, the limitations of chemical equation and finally we will learn the type of chemical reaction. So we already know that in a chemistry we learn about different types of compound and elements and the reactions of the two elements or the two compounds to produce a new substance. Okay, so now the coming to the chemical reaction. So what is a chemical reaction? Now coming to the chemical reaction first let us discuss a physical change and a chemical change. So the changes we see in our day to day life from morning till evening but there are some changes which are reversible and there are some changes which are irreversible just like a growing of a tree is a irreversible change and a boiling of a water is a reversible change. So the chemical reactions are the one in which a two of the reactants reactant means whichever are on the left hand side like a sodium and chlorine it react to form a sodium chloride ok so these two are known as the reactant and on the right hand side it is known as the product. So in the chemical reaction two of the reactant combines or reacts to produce a completely new product and the chemical reactions they are always permanent in nature that means they are irreversible. So such reactions are said to be the chemical reaction and remember in a chemical reaction the product form has completely a new property of that of the combining element like in this case a sodium is a very explosive metal and a chlorine is a poisonous gas but a sodium and a chlorine it combines to give a salt okay which is non poisonous which we eat in our day to day life okay so such reactions are said to be the chemical reaction now coming to the second point the necessary condition for the chemical reaction now there are some of the necessary condition required for the two of the reactant to react the first one it must be in a close contact Okay, so two of the reacting substance must be in a close contact. That means you cannot make the two of the substance react when they are at a different places. Now the second necessary condition is in some of the cases two of the reacting substances they must be in a solution form. Sometime whenever the two reactant occur two, two reactants react a uh, high temperature is necessary sometime even a high pressure. Okay. So, you may learn that from your book. So few of them they are the close contact, okay, heating, then some occurs in the presence of light, some occurs in the presence of sound, okay, for some a solution is required and for some a catalyst is required. Now what is a catalyst? Catalyst is a chemical substances that enhances the rate of chemical equation, okay. So there, these are the necessary conditions for the chemical reactions. Now coming to the character of the chemical reaction, so whenever a, chemi whenever a chemical reaction occurs, it is always accompanied by the evolution of gas, evolution of gas. Okay, the second, sometime what happens, it, there is an exchange of heat also, exchange of heat. That means whenever a chemical reaction occurs, whether either a heat is absorbed or a heat is given out. The third, the change in color may also occur. Okay. Then fourth, the formation of precipitate may occur, which is written as PPT. Now, what is a precipitate? The precipitate means whenever you mix a two liquids or the two solutions, sometimes what happens is a in a insoluble particles are formed, just like the formation of a curd. Okay. So those are known as a precipitate. Okay, so these are some of the characters of the chemical reaction. The chemical reaction may occur by the evolution of gas, the exchange of heat, the change in the state also, then the change in the color and maybe the formation of precipitate as well. Okay, so these are some of the characters of the chemical reaction. Topic that is the chemical equation. Now what is a chemical equation? The chemical equation is the symbolic representation of the chemical reaction. Like if I say the hydrogen. Okay, so the hydrogen it reacts with the oxygen to give water. So if I write it in terms of a symbolic representation like the hydrogen it reacts with the oxygen to produce water. Okay, so then this form is known as the chemical equation. 
okay so the chemical equation is the symbolic representation of a chemical reactions so now writing the chemical equation is very simple okay so like example here we already have so hydrogen reacts with the oxygen to produce water so when we write h2 plus o2 it gives h2o okay so that is how we write a chemical equation now coming to the sixth point that is the balancing of the chemical equation for this you must also know what is the conservation of conservation of mass okay so the conservation of mass tells us that the mass can neither be created nor it can be destroyed so that's why whenever we write a chemical equation the number of atoms on both the sides of the reaction that is on the reactant side and the product side it must be equal like if i consider this equation on the left hand side i have two hydrogen okay and oxygen i have two there and on the right hand side the hydrogen number of hydrogen two and the number of oxygen is only one thus it is not balanced so according to the conservation of mass on both the hands on both the sides of the equation the number of atoms must be same so in order to uphold this law we must balance a chemical equation so the chemical equation can be balanced by adding a digit in the front of the given element like now what can i do now to i need to make oxygen 2 so i'll write 2 here so the oxygen now we have two atoms of oxygen but when when we do so we also see that the number of hydrogen increases so it is multiplied 2 to the is 4 so now we have hydrogen 4 but on the left hand side we have 2 so what can i do i can multiply this hydrogen with 2 so 2 to the is 4 okay so thus the chemical equation is balanced okay so it's very necessary to balance a chemical equation because of the law of conservation of mass now coming to the limitation of chemical equation okay so limitation means the sum of the informations that are not conveyed by the chemical equation so the first is when we look at this reaction we will not be able to tell which one is a gas and which one is a liquid and which one is a solid so that is the first limitation that means it does not tells us about the state of the reactant and the product the second it also does not tells us about the time period means during what time the hydrogen reacts with the oxygen to produce a water okay so these are the two limitations of the chemical reaction now coming to the types of chemical reaction there are various types of chemical reaction which you will learn in detail in class 8 but for now you just remember the name name so some chemical reactions like we have uh, the first one we have is the the direct combination okay so the direct combination so in a direct combination what happens is two of the element directly combine to form the third like ammonia nitrogen plus the hydrogen it gives nh3 okay so this kind of reaction in which a plus b for example gives the product c in which the two of the element directly combine is known as a combination reaction so the opposite of this reaction can be called as a decomposition so the decomposition reaction the, are the one in which ab that means a single compound when heated it gives a two compound a plus b this reaction being a reversible when ammonia is heated again okay what happens it breaks into nitrogen and a hydrogen gas so this kind of reactions are known as a decomposition reaction so apart from this we have a displacement the double displacement neutralization and various other reactions which will be learning in details in your class 8 then this is a very simple chapter so you may go through your textbook line by line and if you do not understand anything you are always free to ask me okay so this ends the sixth chapter of your textbook